welcome to Grilling Fruits and Vegetables with FoodSmart. So let's talk first about the best fruits and veggies to throw on the grill. Some of my personal favorites are pineapples, the sugar content really caramelizes over the fire. Avocados are great and even stone fruits like peaches, plums, and nectarines. In the vegetable category, corn is always a go-to along with red peppers and zucchini to make a really delicious summer succotash. Eggplant is also great over the grill. Asparagus can be roasted in a grilling basket and even red cabbage can be cut in half and slowly caramelized over the grill. And it always helps to have a little sous chef in the kitchen to help you out. Okay, so next let's talk about how to prep all this great produce to get grilling. One of the most popular veggies to grill is corn. Now you can set that cob right on the grill grate to get some quick flavor, or you can pull the silk from inside the cob and then leave the husk on to help steam the corn to cook it through. For rounder or awkward shaped vegetables, you want to cut them in half so you have a nice flat edge to place on the grill grate. Not only does it make those rounder vegetables easier to work with, you expose more of the tender flesh inside to get more char. See, right there, you want to get that all on the grill. Same goes for zucchini and your summer squashes. So now that your produce is prepped, you want to season it with salt, pepper, herbs, and spices, and make sure to add some oil so they don't stick to the grill. Here I've got my eggplant and zucchini, drizzling it with some olive oil, hitting it with some freshly ground pepper, and then a little bit of kosher salt just to dry out some of that moisture and give it some more flavor. Then use your hands, my favorite tool, to rub the fruits and veggies all over. You wanna make sure you get both sides there. That ensures that it doesn't stick to the grill grate and gives great flavor all over your vegetables. Now they're ready to hit the grill. So the same goes for pineapples and avocados. Drizzle with a little bit of oil and then you want to add some flavor. Some of my favorite spices are chili powder and cumin for great southwestern flavor. And if we're talking dried herbs, thyme and oregano are really great options too. And if you're grilling up that asparagus, this is that really great grill basket. Keeps everything contained so smaller items don't fall through the grill grates. Now we're ready to get grilling. Okay, so first you want to oil your grill surface to ensure that your food won't stick. And then once your grill is nice and hot, add your fruits and vegetables cut side down. Now most produce doesn't need to be cooked that long, so making sure that you're getting that flavorful char and gorgeous grill marks are the most important thing. In order to get those insta-worthy crosshatches, lay your items pointing at 10 o'clock on the dial, working to fit them all on the grill grate. Then flip them on the same side to point to 2 o'clock on the clock dial. When they're tender and charred, flip them over like this to cook on the other side. You can find some really delicious grilled vegetable recipes on FoodSmart, including grilled shrimp with melon and pineapple salsa, and grilled eggplant and tomato stacks using those really awesome tips and tip tricks we told you today. Thanks so much for watching, and we really hope to see you again soon. Thank you.